Hi, how's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we're playing Shiver Poltergeist. This is actually the second game in the series. Whoa, lightning, don't do that. I actually already recorded the Vanishing Hitchhiker, which is the first game. And I do know that the third game, the sh third Shiver game, will be coming out very soon, and I'll be recording that one as well. So, why don't we get into it? Let's go ahead and uh, we'll start the adventure. And we will select casual mode, and off we go. My life is depressing and dull. My days are long, each one a carbon copy of the last. <laughs> Groundhog day. Go to work, come home, and hit restart. It's like my days. For years I felt as if I'm drowning in a swamp called the everyday life. Until one day, there was a letter in my usually empty mailbox. It stated that I'm the sole heir to a manor in England, on a private island no less. It is mine. Whoa. Not, not too greedy at all. Alright, so here we are. Would you like some help during the game? Why, of course I would. Here I am at last. This place looks deserted. It's a little run down. When the cursor changes to a hand, you can interact with the object. The suitcase is open. When the cursor changes to an eye, you can take a closer look. Click on the open suitcase. Got myself my diary. I'm glad I brought my notebook. I'm never without it. Cool. I kind of like the way it transitions like that. This map was enclosed with the official letter. I must admit, I really like having my own island. <laughs> okay. Important clues are stored in your diary. You can view them at any time. You can also find your current task list there. There's the map. I actually I do like the way this uh, is tabbed here. Photos. Oh yes, that's true. So for those of you that don't remember Shiver One, there's a couple interesting game mechanics in this uh, game. One is the taking of photographs, and the second one is a flashlight. It's very neat. I, Christian B. Wolfson, the official representative of Grendel's and Son, do hereby certify that Ricardo Shalini is the sole heir of the Gangale estate and manor according to law. Ooh, all right, cool. Well done, you found something. Yes, I have. When the cursor changes to an arrow, you can move in the indicated direction. That's a big, giant cursor. Good evening, sir. To what do I owe your visit to the Kangal estate? Well, we're calling it Kangal, are we? Oh. I received notification from the lawyer's office, Grendel and Sons. It states I'm the only heir to this estate. Then, kind sir, you certainly must have the proper paperwork in your possession. I do. Here you go, friend. One moment, please. I must review the documents. Nice cane. Is he going to whack me with that cane? Ah, I see. Hmm. You do remind me of... Never mind. I beg your pardon for not meeting you at the pier. News of your arrival must have been delayed. Um, I didn't send... No doubt, due to the failings of our local post office. My apologies again, sir, but I have duties to attend to, so if you'll excuse me... Can you give me the key to get in? Feel free to peruse the grounds. As soon as my duties are done, I will be on hand to assist you as you take possession of your rightful estate. Okay, sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Uh... It warms anymore? my heart to know the estate remains in the family. How may I assist you? Wow, we have actual choices I am here. a Kangle family butler. Alas, young Richard died in a fire at the estate 15 years ago. Your resemblance to him is uh, uncanny. Mm -hmm. Please take your time. How come you didn't it answer warms me that my heart to know the estate remains in the family. With all due respect, I must draw your attention to the fact that, by the edict of Edward IV, you cannot sell this property. What? Why? If no one claims the right of succession, then after twenty years the land is ceded to the crown. Hmm, interesting. Please take your time. So it's like, uh, almost like government land or something. That's interesting. I like rain and thunder. Well, it looks like we're gonna need to fix this valve, of course, to drain it. Sweet. Uh, 
Let's go this way. Can we go downstairs? Rusty old lock. Thought I saw something there shimmering. I don't think I can get through the, the mansion. There's like a big giant boulder there. What's here? I could tear off these clamps using some sort of lever. Look at me, thinking of breaking into my own property. It's <laughs> cute actually. Anything else here? Let's go to lock the inventory bar there. That's because that's how Gibbs likes to play. I don't like this thing floating around on me. Personally, appreciate having a fixed inventory bar. Oh, what's with the lighthouse that we saw in the opening credits burning down? And the person rowing their boat away from it. I get an eerie theory feeling looking at that lighthouse. Yeah, that makes two of us. Found myself a nice valve, which I think I know what to do with it. Talk it warms my heart to know the estate remains in the family. How may I assist you? Lord Henry Kangal? He was the last in his line. Please take your... Lord Henry Kangal? I think that's what you said, right? Okay, let's go ahead and drain it. Oh, uh, what do we have here? A manor key. Why, of course, that's where the manor key would be stored. Anything else in here? No. Okay, let's go to the manor door with our manor key. There you go. Creaky. Who is this Lord William Kangle? For a guy, he's wearing some pretty fancy stockings. Got myself a carpet. This man's features are familiar to me. He's a more well-groomed version of my father. Oh, uh, did you see something go by the keyhole there? I sure did. Door is locked. We go this way. How sloppy. It's odd to find this disarray when the butler seems competent. Yeah, indeed. Fire at the lighthouse. A tragic death at Kangle Estate. Will the heir ever wed. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's creepy as hell. What the hell did I just do? Uh-oh. I just put the painting back. Why is there flames everywhere? Oh, that is super creepy. Good grief. I just got massive chills. Holy cannoli! What in the world was that? I don't know, but it seems to have left a... Uh... Looks like I'm staring at myself in the mirror. Hmm. It's too heavy to move. It's over here. Block from the outside. The hour hand is missing. Okay, so we're gonna have to fix our clock, are we? Uh, can we throw a carpet on it? Hmm. We suffocated it. Clever. It was Richard who died in the fire, and the woman in this picture isn't the same as the woman haunting the mansion. Interesting. Okay, let's go upstairs then. Oh my goodness, what's with the eyes? Well, the blood coming from the eyes, it turns into fire. Super creepy. You will always be mine. There is no way to welcome the new king of the castle. This guy's a jerk. I'm playing a jerk. Wow. Alright, we have our first scene here. Just gonna check out a few things here. It's impossible to see here. I need a flashlight. Ooh. Yeah, so that's definitely part of this game. It has a flashlight uh, component to it. Holy crap. Okay, I'm already creeped out. Who sh shut the door on me? <laughs> okay. A little 
too creepy for me. Maybe I'm not too creepy. I play a lot of scary games, so. Uh, what's this for? Coin filled purse. Where the hell's the purse? I don't even know. Okay, let's just leave that for now. Start doing some clicky clicky. Oh wow, that's so neat how it goes into flame like that. Button. Oh, there's the purse there. Here's something for the cigar, if I ever find it. There it is. Wow, that is so neat. Spider. We need a monkey. I saw the monkey. Where the heck was the monkey? Did I not see a monkey? I'm pretty sure I saw a monkey. Let's see. The lobster. I, can't, I haven't had lobster in a long time. Chain, a clothespin. Chain and a clothespin. Mm. The music is really nice in the background, actually. I'm already liking this game, and I know it came out, uh, I think, last year, but uh, I don't only play the new games. I like to go back and find some hidden gems in the past, so, so it's okay. It's okay to play an older game. Okay, so I've uh, clearly have no idea where this chain is. Where's my hint? What the hell? That's a chain. Come on, game. That was a terrible chain. Okay, come on. One more. One more item. Let's see if we can get it before the hint counter adds up. For those of you that aren't familiar with my playstyle, you might want to hit the subscribe button. I have played dozens of casual adventure games, among other games as well, but uh, definitely heavily into the casual adventure games. So if that is something that interests you, you might want to go back in the history and you'll see plenty of videos there. Alright, found it. Found a necklace chain. Mm, that's interesting. Alright, let's go this way. This place is really run down. Yay, we found a flashlight, but no flashlight batteries. There's a doorway here behind this plywood. How creepy is that? That reminds me of scratches, except in that case, the doorway was bricked in and covered up with wallpaper. That was super creepy. Oops. Oops, there goes part of my inheritance. Cheeky bummers, cheeky key it looks like. Cloak room key. This portrait has no plaque. Who is this woman? She looks aristocratic. There's something behind the glass. I have to break it. Alright, so we're gonna have to come back with something to break it. What do we have here? This hinge is barely holding on the door. I only need to remove this screw. The lock is damaged, not even a key would open it. Ah, this whole place has fallen apart. Okay, let's go back then. Can't be sure what was the cloakroom. I don't know. Was this the cloakroom? No, it was like a bathroom. Holy cow, what a mess. This place is a disaster. Hmm, something's missing. Okie dokie. What's going on over here? I see like a flash of uh, electricity. Kangle Air dies in lightning strike. Richard Kangle died Sunday, August 21st from a lightning strike and resulting fire. That sounds like murder to me. It looks like this wiring... In this, looks like the wiring in this place needs updating. I better fix it before another fire starts. How oh, cheeky. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, broken radio, it looks like. The tube is missing. Anything else here that's interesting? An old camera. Oh, we have here. I need a key to open it. I don't think that's the right key. No, wrong key. Wrong key. Alright, well, I don't see what else I can do here. Uh, so where is the cloakroom? Downstairs, maybe? 
This is the cook room. Isn't it? No. What's this here? Whoa, I can't reach it, but it looks like metal. I wish I had a magnet. That makes two of us. I wish I had a magnet. Uh, where is the cloakroom? This is the cloakroom. There was somebody in here last time. They walked by the keyhole. Yeah, let's go in here, I guess. Whew. Okay, what do we have here? Got myself some nice gloves. Hmm. Plunger. I need something small to pick the lock. All right, let's get into the hidden object scene. That's what these games are all about. A uh, sealed letter goes there. Everything goes up in a puff of fire. It's kind of neat. I like it. We need to do something with this key. Mm. Uh, butterfly. Anything else here that we need? A bat, a brush, and a wrench. There's a bat. There's the brush. Oh, so it's that kind of bat. It just occurred to me. <laughs> Baseball bat. Alright, so we need a sickle, a wrench, and a nut. So we probably need that nut there. It's locked up. So we need a sickle and a wrench. A wrench sounds like it could be quite handy, to be honest with you. Except I can't find the darn wrench. Or a sickle. I think a sickle, I know what a sickle looks like. Go ahead and hint the last one. Oh wow, right in the wallpaper. Evil. Vacuum tube. For the radio. Okay. Let's go back to uh, work the radio. Here you go. What the hell is going on? 